The Bosch Benchmark induction range has some decent features, but it's not for everyone. In this video, you'll learn its best attributes and a few problems. Then we'll compare the Bosch against competitive Samsung, LG, Studio, and Cafe induction ranges. We'll also answer the baffling difference between this range and the remarkably similar 800 series range, which is $300 less. Stay to the end, and I'll tell you how to buy this range at the best possible price without haggling, as well as a real problem when buying Bosch induction ranges. Bosch's best feature is its reliability. The ranges only need service 5.4% of the time in the first year versus over 10% for all of the ranges combined based on about 35,000 service calls logged by our service department just last year. Now this is just a theory, but Bosch only uses 40 amps, while most brands max the circuit at 50 amps. So any type of voltage spike will increase issues. That's significant because induction ranges aren't easy to fix to begin with, and the current part shortages make it even more difficult to get repairs done promptly. The top is three power burners. You can boost one to 3,700 watts with the other two reaching 3,600. That's on the high end of output for comparable induction ranges. LG has one burner at 4,200 watts and one at 3,200. Burners drop off considerably after that. Samsung only has a 2,400 watt max to 1,800 watts and a 1,200. The cafe has one 3,700 watt burner then drops down at 2,500 watts. Like every high-end stove, you have convection fan force heat to create even temperatures throughout the oven. Below the oven, however, you have a warmer drawer to keep food warm for up to three hours if you like to cook and serve at different times. Separate warming drawers will cost $1,200 on average. At 4.6 cubic feet, Bosch's interior oven is smaller than most of its competitors. LG and Samsung offer 6.3 cubic foot, of internal capacity while CAFE's is 6.7 cubic, Becca was 5.7 cubic foot. Bosch only offers a stainless steel finish and lacks the different color choices and handle options of the CAFE. It's priced at $4,099, which are on the higher side for competitive ranges. I'll show you how to buy this cheaper toward the end of the video. You can buy ranges from the LG, Samsung, and G profile lines without the warm drawer for $500 to $1,000 less. Speaking of price, if you buy this Bosch around the holidays like Black Friday, Memorial Day, July 4th, President's Day and more, you can save three to $500 in this specific range. You can also receive rebates from package promotions when you buy multiple qualifying Bosch appliances. Before you buy this range or any other Bosch, you should know the difference between this and the 800 series, the HIIP8057 in the uh, Bosch freestanding ranges. The benchmark adds a bridge element joining the front and back burners on the, on the left-hand side for odd-shaped pots and pans. You don't get this in the 800 series, and that's the difference. Also, Bosch has a new freestanding series. The burner watches are similar uh, as their sliding ranges, yet the oven capacity is even smaller at 3.8 cubic foot. That's because it's not made by Bosch, because it's made by Smeg, a brand out of Italy. Hard to know about reliability, so I'd be careful when buying their freestanding range. The price is on the higher side, while the oven is on the smaller side. You should look to see if, if that still meets your needs. However, the reliability alone makes this a good consideration, as this is the most reliable induction range you can buy. The output is also excellent, along with the convenience of a warning drawer if you cook and eat at staggered times. So what do you think? Is this range worth the money? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video and want to learn more about induction ranges, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified first when we release new videos.